Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my room tour. I promised you all I would show you it when it's done and it's pretty much finished now so I thought it'd be a good time to film it. So I really hope you enjoy it and let's start. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my room. So there's my bed with my dog on it. I have a mirror and stuff where I do my makeup over there. And then I have my chest of drawers, this white tall mirror here. My plaque and stuff are in the corner. And then I have this drawer unit thing um, where I keep my shoes is under there. And then I have my wardrobe bit here. So first, I'm going to start with this mirror. I did have this in my old room, well, old design of my room. Um, it's just a, it was originally silver, but I painted it white and I just got it from a charity shop. It was so, so cheap. So that's all I did to it really, although it has chipped in some places, but it's okay, it'll do. Up here, I just have my coats because I wanted to keep this um, room tour as realistic as possible because I know a lot of people have super clean, white, um, perfect looking bedrooms and stuff. and that's just not how people live so i wanted to show you like a pretty accurate overview of my room so now i'm going to go into here so here is what my um wardrobe looks like it's a bit of a mess actually but so i just have my bags and stuff at the top and then i have kind of the clothes i want to have hung up there and then the other clothes are just kind of stacked semi nicely on the sides so in these two compartments here i have all of my jeans so every single pair of jeans i'll fold up and put in here you can't really see it very well because not much light gets into it but yeah there's what i keep my jeans in this one i think this one is for tops with short sleeves um this one is vest tops with no sleeves and this one is all long sleeve tops and there's just a dressing gown there because everyone needs a dressing gown um <laughs> in this part here i just have all of the stuff i want to have hung up so i have a lot of my check shirts and i also have some t-shirts that when you bind them you know you don't want to really fold them up and you scrunch them up and stuff so i have that and just shirts like this a couple of skirts and stuff here and then in this area i have all of my coats and outerwear so my favorite khaki denim jacket my leather jacket the camel coat this was a new faux fur one actually and i absolutely love it i can't wait to show you it when it's a bit colder again but yeah that was from an antique shop and i'm so pleased i got that i love it up here i just have all of my jumpers and cardigans this is where i keep my skirts and shorts that is kind of like loungewear stuff, same with that one. And in this one, I think I've got like joggers and hoodies and stuff, and that's a scarf. So that's pretty much what I have in this wardrobe. So yeah, that's that. Try and close these doors with great difficulty. So this is actually probably the most exciting thing in my whole room. This, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a drawer unit thing this is actually victorian and it's called green man furniture because they have these little faces on um like the accent parts and i love this so much i actually got it from my great aunt's house and what happened was um her husband which is my great uncle did some work for a big manor house where we live and at the time he didn't want to get paid he wanted to get paid in furniture if that makes sense and this is one of the pieces from the manor house and i just think it's so amazing yeah it's quite gothic and i just really really love it and honestly it's my favorite thing out of this whole room i feel so lucky to have it this lamp is another one of my favorite things in the room it's from house of fraser and i can't remember the designer that did it but i'll leave it down below i just love the gold and i love the antlers and everything i just think it looks so nice so these were also presents from family and in here i literally just keep um a load of bracelets and stuff that i don't wear very often and also hair bubbles and stuff um there's the little green man 
thing there as well. Um, in here, I just keep all of my chokers and necklaces and things because I like to have my jewellery very close so I can see what I've got and stuff. Otherwise, I forget I have it and then I just don't ever wear it. So that's why I have it all kind of laid out. So on this is the stuff I wear more often. So I've got my favourite bracelets and stuff here. All of my favourite chokers, my Tiffany necklace and just some other bracelets and stuff I like to wear as well. And then underneath this, I keep my purse. It's just um, this Prada one. I really, really love that purse and I use it so much. That's why I have it out there as well. In these two drawers, I keep underwear in that one, so I'm not gonna show it. But in here, I just keep random stuff, really. I have my Paul Hewitt watch, my Armani one, um, the sunglasses, just the Tiffany box. This is Chanel powder, which I don't use very often, but it was a present. And I've got my Tangle Teaser, a random bracelet, um, batteries for when this microphone runs out, and some other fake tan and bits of stuff like that. So down here I keep my bags, and for those of you who are bag lovers, I just have the Louis Vuitton Speedy. And inside this I keep my Burberry scarf as well. And this one I have my Louis Vuitton Felici, which I'm not going to get out of, but if you want to see a bag review thing or whatever I'm definitely able to do that so this was actually from TK Maxx and I just love this again I love anything gold and I just loved the texture of it um, again I'll try and find it and link it below but I don't know how easy it will be to find so in here I keep all of my shoes and it is a bit of a mess but I wanted to keep it as realistic as possible I didn't want to show you like a false representation of how I keep my stuff so there are my mango gold um flat Oxford shoes and I literally just kind of chuck all the others in really I'm not gonna lie I keep my heels under my bed just because I don't reach for them very often so I don't really need them in this one but this is like the shoes I wear the most so now this mirror was from the range um, again I'll try and link it below it wasn't actually that expensive I expected a big mirror to cost quite a lot of money but in reality it wasn't too much at all I'll link it below if I can so over here I have my little backpack um, hat which I don't wear very often at all and and there's just some random bags and stuff in there for like if I ever go on holiday and I want to keep like toiletries and stuff they're all in there so on this shelf I have the favorite thing in my whole entire room and that's my 100,000 silver play button I absolutely love it and it's displayed there because I'm so proud of it and I'm so grateful for it and I just love to look at it and then I have my favorite perfumes that I wear the most so if any of you guys care I like to wear um, hypnotic poison this one is lady million flower bomb Gucci Guilty and Marc Jacobs Decadence which is my absolute favourite at the moment and then up here I just have perfumes that I don't wear as often so I think there's like Beyonce and Rihanna and Victoria's Secret one and stuff like that so in here I just have um, a lot of my hair stuff and just some little body sprays and things in here I have the makeup I don't use as often so I've got some like lipsticks and stuff and eyelashes are all kept in these little drawers and then in this first drawer, I keep some of my makeup. So this is what I like to call an organized mess. So I have like some beauty blenders, my favorite um, benefit stuff. This drawer is again, another one of my makeup products. So I've got all my eyelashes, um, another refill. And I've also got some makeup palettes underneath. These three drawers, I'm not gonna show you again because it's just like underwear and socks and stuff and no one really cares about that. This is just such a cool faux fur foal. It's such a cool faux fur cube. I got this from Very. Again, I'll leave it below if they still have it. It's just a really cool seat and it's not a bean bag. It, you can kind of like sit on this and it doesn't go down. So that's why I really like it. So yeah, I have that in my room. Okay, so on here I have some of my most used makeup palettes. And then here I have all of my makeup brushes and the lipsticks I use the most as well. So here I have um, some more of the makeup products I use the most. All of these I use on a pretty much regular basis, which is why I leave them out because I don't want to be rooting through the drawers for them all the time. So you've probably seen a lot of these in my other videos, but yeah, I just basically have it all laid out easy. Jack Will's ties because I just think they look really cute hanging up there. I have this cute little elephant. I think this was from The Range. This was a gift again. It doesn't have anything in, I don't think, no. 
but it just looks quite cute. And then I have some coconut oil if it wants to focus. So I just keep my moisturizers and stuff up there and my brushes and um, eyelash curlers and mascaras there. And that is pretty much it. So I'll just give you one last overview of my room. So my bed is here, my makeup stuff, my drawers, my little cushion thing, mirror, shoe area, <laughs> and my favorite drawer unit. My clothes are kept in there. And that is it. Do you have anything to contribute, Tess? I didn't think so. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what you think. If you have any ideas on how I can improve it, that would be amazing. I really wanted to get some gold stuff to go on that radiator cover, but I just haven't found anything good yet. So let me know if you know of anywhere. And yeah, have an amazing day, and I'll speak to you all again very, very soon.